the sound of the docking bay arms latching onto our ship. If all is well, then the computer that controls them will be fooled into taking us on board. Safe and sound. And if it's not well? Well then, in that case, we are all going to die. Quickly, but painfully. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, I'm doing everything I can on this end to jam the Katini defenses. You should be able to get on board Ox Mothership with no problems. Once you're there, you're pretty much on your own. This place is going to be crawling with Katini, and they're going to be shooting on sight. Avoid any contact with the enemy if you can, and get down to the ship's ventilation system. Dump the spore extract in, and get out as fast as you can. Who knows what will happen to that thing when the crew starts dropping like flies. If worse comes to worse... I've made another surprise for you to take with you. Zared helped me build something that should be able to take the whole ship with it when it goes. But you have to get it right next to the main engine for it to do any damn good. Don't use it unless you have to, though. It's got a two-minute timer on it, and that's all. This is hard for me to say, but I won't care if we get Ock if you don't make it out safe too, Angel. Take care of yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting for you. This is the big one. We have no room for mistakes. We go in, we plant the bioweapon in the ventilation system, and we get out ASAP. That's it. Any questions? That ship is huge. Thank God we stole those blueprints for it. Otherwise, we'd just get lost. Sorry I can't be with you, Angel, but I'm going to have my hands full on this end jamming Katini Communications. If I can get any useful information to you, I will. But no promises. <laughs> I expect we'll have to deal with Ock itself before all is said and done. Ock has a tendency to be stubborn about such things. Be prepared. With Ock dead, the Katini hierarchy on Earth fell into chaos. Everywhere, resistant cells rose up to throw off the Katini yoke and fight the oppression of their would-be alien masters. Angel and her friends were held as heroes of the resistance, the authors of the new struggle for Earth's liberation. Humanity knew that the EOC would return, and return in force. But that would be tomorrow. Today, it was time to celebrate humanity's hard-fought, hard-won freedom. <laughs>